Hello, Duffy's Tavern. What are you late, Mason? Oh, she's speaking. Duffy ain't here. Hello, Duffy. What am I doing? I'm in the Columbia workshop. What am I in for? Duffy, I said workshop. Yeah. Tonight, I am an artist. Yeah, uh, uh, actor. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a thing called the uh, Miracle in Manhattan. What do you mean? If it's good, it'll be a miracle. Duffy, you ain't got no Christmas spirit, that's all. Who, whose idea is it? Well, it's uh, Columbia's Western Program Director. He, he dreamed it up. Yeah, it's Charlie Vanden. He's a friend of mine. Came to New York on a bus, a, 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 a bus, a busman's holiday from, from Hollywood. Yeah, he's directing it, too. Well, it, I don't know, it starts like all Christmas plays. You know, the band plays Silent Night, and we're into it. From here? Certainly from here. Uh, six bits, mister. Okay. But sort of take it easy, like. I want to take a gander to town. Okay. Want a little music? I'll turn on the radio. Go ahead. Ah, oh, that thing again. I'll try to get you something different. Now you'd think there was nothing else on the air tonight. Oh, get that, will you? Listen to that. It's enough to drive a guy nuts. I'm sorry, mister. I guess this is all we're going to get. Over and over and over. It doesn't bother me. Matter of fact, I kind of like it. No kidding? Sure. It's Christmas music. Heck, this is Christmas Eve. Well, I'll... I'll be frank with you. To me, Christmas Eve is nothing but a first-class headache. Yeah? Yeah, one of your kind. Slippery streets, a bunch of screwy people with too many drinks under their belts. I tell you, a cab driver's got to watch his step on a night like this. So, so it's December 24th. So all of a sudden, everybody goes wacky. You never know what's liable to happen. <laughs> well, maybe you got something there. Yeah, everybody's got... Packages under their arms, you know, a lot of nice little packages, so they can't reach for the tip. Ah. Well, Mister, you said you want to see the town. Uh, what's on the menu first? Uh, how's about starting off with Park Avenue? Oh no, just drive. Oh, wait a minute. Pull in over there. By that little church, you mean? Yeah, I'd like to sort of drop in. You know, <laughs> you guys are people funny sometimes. I've never figured you with the regular type. Oh, just curious, that's all. Well, you're the doctor. Hey, how about coming in with me? Huh? Oh, nah. <laughs> nah, not me. I ain't been to church for so long, I... I wouldn't know how to act. Well, I ain't been to church much either, but Christmas Eve is Christmas Eve. Eh, well, like I told you, mister, my racket one night ain't much different than the next. The music ought to be nice. Are you kidding now, listen, count me out. I just sit out here in a cab and listen to the meter tick. That's music enough for me. I'll pay the damages. No, no, no. Go, you go ahead. I'll wait out here. It's warm inside. 
What are you, Miss uh, Missionary? Oh, no. I just want company. Come on. Well, you're paying the freight. Let's go. Gee, you, you never go to church, huh? Nah, you, you see, the, the kind that does and the kind that don't. I'm the kind that don't. Did you ever pray? Yeah, you know, when I was a kid, they used to teach us all kinds of prayers. Our Father, what art in heaven, how will be thy name? I, uh, I know, I forget the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Hey, that's kind of pretty, ain't it? Mm-hmm. If you like that kind of thing. Yeah, let's, let's sit near the back. Hey, man. Well, them people had it awful quiet, ain't they? Yeah. I guess this is one of the last places left where people can come and think. Think, huh? Uh, what are they thinking about? Well, you're, you're just one of the people, too. What are you thinking about? Me? Oh, well, us cabbies is different from most people. I guess all we ever think about is where we're going to get another fare. Is that all? Even on Christmas Eve? What else is there to think about? Oh, oh all kinds of things. Spatial things. Sort of <laughs> wonderful things. Look, mister, this, this, this ain't for me. I, I, I get the heebie-jeebies in this joint. I'll meet you out in a cab, huh? All right, I'll go along. Hey, what are you doing? The sign is, is uh, helps the poor, don't it? Well, it didn't do you much good to have that meter ticking over uh, out there in the cab. You aren't going to break even. All right, so I don't break even. Forget it. Maybe that was a sucker. Let's get going, huh? Same tone. Oh, don't worry. I told you I liked it. Well, of course, that's your own negative, but you made Glenn Miller playing that Chattanooga show show. <laughs> what is traffic tough tonight? Christmas. Hey, Kirby, you think you could pull out of this traffic line for a minute? I want to pick up a paper. Well, you're in the right neighborhood for a paper, Missy. You can buy it from little Jimmy Turn over there. Jimmy Turner? Yeah, a little crippled guy. No boy. Ain't walked in years, but always got a smile for us cabbies. That's why we like to bring him business. That's him over there in the corner. Paper? Paper? Crippled, huh? Wait a minute. I'll get your paper. Please. Hey, hey, hold on. I'll go with you. Extra paper. Paper, mister? Oh, hiya, Lefty. Sorry, Christmas. Same to you, Jimmy. How's business? Half sold out already. Hey, Alistair. Hmm, thanks, Jimmy. We'll be seeing you, Jimmy. We've got to get along. You know. Look, Lefty, one of my customers threw me a nickel rolled out in the street there. You want to get it for me? Oh, sure, Jimmy. I'll get it. <laughs> Why don't you walk over and get the nickel yourself, Jimmy? Oh, what are you trying to give me, mister? you got eyes you can see, can't you? Yeah, and you've got legs. You can move your eyes. Uh, how long since you tried to walk? As long as I can remember. Oh, I ain't chicken. I can yell. Mm, I heard you. You sure can. Bet your life I can. That's all I need for this racket. When a quiet night, when I ain't too much traffic around, where they can hear me two blocks away. Yeah. Clear up the 53rd Street. And that's important in my business. Oh, sure it is. Tell me, Jimmy, what do you want for Christmas? What do I want? <laughs> I already got my Christmas present. Last October. Last October. No kidding. Uh-huh. When the Yanks won the pennant. Boy, they paralyzed it. You, you like the Yanks, huh? I'll say I do. And mainly because of one guy. Joe DiMaggio. 
Paper, mister? Is this the latest edition? The very latest. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the man's the greatest baseball player in the world. Boy, you want to hear me yell at ease in a headline. Oh, driver. Is that cabin gauge? Sorry, mister. It's all tied up. Thanks. I'll get another one. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah? Do you know who that was? That was Joe himself. Joe DiMaggio. No kidding. Oh, gee, I, I didn't recognize Joe DiMaggio in his three cars. Oh, gee. Come on, Cabby. we got to stop him. Hey, DiMaggio. Hey. Did you call me? Gee, excuse me for yelling at you, but I had to stop you. You see, you, you've you got quite an admirer over there in that news kid. That's so? Yeah. As a matter of fact, if, if he could shake hands with you, I... I think it'd be the swellest Christmas present he could ever get. Really? Yeah. Honest. Would you mind? Certainly not. Come on. Just a minute, Joe. Let him walk over to you. What's that kid? Oh, he needs somebody like you to, well, call him and see. I don't get it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, Jimmy. Yeah? There's a friend of yours here. He wants you to walk over and shake hands with him. Yeah, but... Can't you see? Come on, Jimmy. Come on over here and shake hands. No, I, I, I can't. I... Come on, Jimmy. Yo. Yo, I'm walking. Look, I'm walking. Man, you see what I'm doing? I, I Come on, Jimmy. I don't like crowds. Going. Let's get out of here. I'm walking. Hey, careful, Gabby. Watch this crowd. Take it easy. I'm sorry, mister, but it's a wonder I know what I'm doing. I swear I'm dizzy. What's the matter? That kid back there. I seen him sitting on a corner like that for six years. And now he's walking. Well, maybe he could have walked all the time. Yeah. You're the smart one. You did it. Giving him the will to walk. Tell him that that was Joe DiMaggio. Well, what? Listen, look, it's all right to fool a kid, but I know better. That wasn't DiMaggio. It wasn't, huh? No, it couldn't have been. Maybe it looked like him, but it wasn't him. No? No. Of course not, of course. Only this morning I read about him in the papers. It says that Joe DiMaggio was spending Christmas with his family in San Francisco. That thing ever stop? Well, I hope you like it. Nothing I seem to be able to do about it. Hey, what's all the excitement? Oh, oh, say, that's something that ought to be worth seeing. I heard about it earlier this evening. There's a guy up on a window ledge down on the 22nd floor. Claims he's going to jump off at 11 o'clock. Hey, wait a minute. Listen to them chimes. Yeah, that's a quarter to 11 now. Guy's got 15 minutes to go, if he keeps his word. Look, look at it, got a spotlight on him. Oh, yeah. yeah. They don't want to miss nothing. Guys don't do this every night in a week, you know. <laughs> guy must be off his bean, huh? Who is he? Oh, some guy used to be an actor, they tell me. Certainly hugging a spotlight for this performance, huh? Gabby, you think we can get into this hotel? Huh? You mean you don't want to stay outside here and watch? I want to get inside right away. Listen, who are you anyway? You a newspaper reporter? Well, maybe. Well, listen, there's cops all around. You can't... Well, wait, I, I, I tell you, I got an idea. You walk in the front door with me behind you, see? They'll, they'll think you live there and that I'm going to carry your luggage out. Oh, good. Come on. Look at that. It's disgusting. Look at them, folks. I'm telling you, that that's the kind of a thing that can only happen on a night like this. Oh, 
Well, we're in. Now what? The 22nd floor. Going up, boy. Huh? Yes, sir. 22. I can take you up, sir, but the police aren't letting anyone into the west wing. That's where that room is that the man's jumping out of. Oh, I know. Listen, miss, I hope you ain't going to sign up and throw it here, especially when the kid says that they got cops guarding the room. And besides, you can't... Here kid... we are, sir. Come on. See? Look at it. Just like I told you. Three cops in front of the door. You ain't got a chance of getting in there. Come on, before they kick us out. Huh? What's a try? Maybe one of us will make it. Right down. Here we are. Yeah, just a minute. Where do you think you're going, Tabby? I'm just following my friend here. You let him through, didn't you? Nah, we didn't let nobody through, and we ain't letting nobody through. We got orders that nobody should go into this room. Yes. Yeah. You mean to say that you guys didn't see nobody go into that room just now? Yeah, of course we didn't, because nobody went in. Huh? You must be drunk, buddy. I'll run along and sit and wait for Santa Claus to come down the chimney. We got strict orders to keep everybody out of this room until the wife of that nut gets down here to try and talk him out of jumping. Okay. Okay, wise guys, have it your way. But my fair sneak by, and he's up there in that suicide jumper right now. Now, you guys can laugh all you want, but I'll bet my hack that there's a mighty interesting conversation going on right now. Mighty interesting. Listen, you. I don't think Thomas there wasn't going to be anyone else out here to bother me. I just want to talk to you. Who knows? Maybe I can help you. Suppose that I don't want your help. Well, people have refused help for me before, but it doesn't matter. Just remember what I told the others. If you come one step towards me, I'll jump. Or maybe that's what you're here for. No, I don't need to watch it to know what'll happen. I know. So you in a few minutes. No church chimes ring. You'll hesitate a second, and you step off into space. Your heart pounding, your throat so hard you think it'll choke you. And then the night air hits your face. Ice cold. And you grab at that air. Nothing there. You have a sick, helpless feeling in your stomach. You thought it was going to be over fast. It lasts a long time. A heck of a long time. Long enough to bring back every memory you ever knew. And more. You hate to look down, but you can't help it. You hear a scream. You hear an ambulance bell. You see the lights on the street. People running, shouting. They're rushing up to you. Like lightning, the people run. They yell like crazy. The lights go brighter. Down, down, down! And suddenly it's over. And you don't hear the police. You don't hear them at all. You can't scare me. I know. I'm not trying to. I thought maybe you'd like to hear exactly how it would happen without going through. Who are you, anyway? Just a guy. Who are you? Don't tell me you don't know that. Don't you read the papers? Well, not very often. Hey, I hope you're not doing this just to break into print. I've got good reason for what I'm doing. Well, a lot of people down there are trying to be happy because this is Christmas Eve. And here you are making them all feel sick. Christmas Eve. A fine Christmas Eve it is for me. No job, no. What do you do for a living? I was an actor. A good one, too. Uh, start putting on a show here, too, ain't you? Go on. Hey, tell me about it, All right. I will. I might as well tell him the time between now and 11. Maybe they told you why they stopped trying to talk me out of this. They're waiting. For your wife to get here? That's right. <laughs> but they'll wait forever. She won't be here. That's why I'm doing this. I haven't known one decent moment since she left me, or until I left her. You're sorry about that, huh? Plenty. I haven't been good for anything without her. I suppose that you had to do it all over again, things that you different. Oh, what's the use of even talking about it? Nothing means anything. So that's why you're up here tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've tried everything to get her to come back to me. I've written to her, tried to see her. Make promises. I... 
I even pray. Yeah? But it isn't any use. You see that clock over there? In about five seconds, it will ring out the hour. And that's when I'm jumping. Right with those times. Why don't you wait? Give your wife a chance to get here. They're trying to reach her. Well, that's plenty of time. And she won't come when they do reach her. What's keeping those times? They could ring any second now, any second. Those seconds are going to seem kind of long to you because they're the last seconds you'll ever have. Well, they're not important. Because my life isn't important. Not anymore. Don't think I'm going to back out, mister. Come on, time! Ring out! Like you've been doing all day! <laughs> you see, I've heard them ever since I've been standing out here. I can tell almost to the second when they're going to ring. But it's like I told you. These last moments are changing all that. The seconds seem like years. Well, yeah, but this can't keep up. They'll go in a moment now, any moment. And then I am going to jump. And you'll see, all of you, that you were wrong. But she didn't get here. She didn't come back to me. Even at a time like oh, this. Oh, Paul. Paul. Uh, yes, darling. It's Anne. Please, Paul. Aren't you going to take me in your arms? She's waiting for you, Paul. What are you going to do? Do? What am I going to do? Oh, Anne. Thank God. Thank God you've come back. <laughs> Hey, and those chimes. I was going to jump when I heard the man. I was going to jump. I know. I know. I, I got here as soon as I could. And all the while, I, I was afraid I was too late. I thought I was too late for it. <laughs> Mother music. Huh? Oh, huh. Well, I guess I'm kind of mixed up. You got me thinking. Oh, yeah, Listen, mister, do you, do you mind if I shut this radio off altogether? That silent night is beginning to get me back. Oh, do anything you like. Look, look, mister, you got to tell me what happened up there. How did you sneak past the cops? And what made that guy change his mind? What did you do, anyhow? Oh, I only gabbed with him a little while until his wife got there. Listen, I have, I've had some screwy Christmas Eve's, but, but this one tops them all. First, there was that little news boy. Hey, hey, and hey, now... Abby, that man hey. crossing the street. I've known Jimmy for... Look, look out! Look out! Oh, don't worry, driver. I saw it happen. He walked right out in front of us. Yeah, you, you did see him, didn't you, Missy? He walked right out in front of us. Come on, come on, come on, let's get out. Well, the driver didn't stop. No, the man stepped right out there without warning. Somebody better call him. Don't worry, there's one coming right now. Come on, Jim, let's hear it, will you? Hey, I saw it happen, officer. Right it wasn't the driver's fault. This guy stepped right out in front of him like a blind man. Hey, wait a minute. He is a blind man. I've seen him around here before. Yeah, so have I. Here, you. Get your hands off him. Don't be trying to pick him up. It's against the law. Wait till the ambulance gets you. Against the law? Uh, help someone? Sure it is. You never know when you're doing him more harm than good. Okay, officer. Okay. Hey, hey, wait. He's getting up. He's Get getting back, up. everybody. What? What hit me? I was... So excited. Christmas Eve. I, I was in a hurry to get home. Tell me. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Lights and faces. Easy, mister. You better not try to get up. I got up. I can see. I'm all right, I tell you. 
And I can see. Where? I can see. Where he can see. It must have been the shock. Uh, the shock when the cab hit him, you know. It was one... I didn't mean to hit him. Oh, didn't mean to say you've done him a favor. The shock of it brought back his eyesight. No, no, that's not it. Someone touched me. It was a cool hand. The cool hand of the man that helps me. Huh? The minute he touched me, I, I was all right. Where is he? Where is he? Hey, wait a minute. I'm beginning to get this. It's a racket. A minute, these guys will be passing the hat. Yeah, he's never been blind at all. What? I've been giving him money on this corner all winter, and he's a phony. Hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, there was another guy with a cabbie. He looked like a suspicious character to me, officer. Uh, you ought to run him in, officer. I bet they staged the whole thing. A suspicious character, huh? Where'd he go? Well, he was here a second ago. He looked like one of those subversive guys to me. Imagine pulling a trick like that on Christmas Eve. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute here. The guy's got this all wrong. Huh? This guy you're talking about is a very good guy. Now, wait a minute. He's a stranger in town, but he's all right. Hey, where did he go? <laughs> you see, he even got out on you, buddy. I know it was all an act. Oh, wait, he was here just a second ago. This guy's been riding my cab all night with this regular sort of a guy. Listen, let me tell you what he's done. First, it was Jimmy the nose boy, see? He was crippled. And all of a sudden, he started a walk. <laughs> all right, now this ain't funny, I'm telling you. Then it was that guy that was going to jump off the building. And now this blind man. Hey, what are you having up in here? Uh, get moving, buddy. Well, what a frame up. <laughs> Better get moving, Tabby. This mob don't like what's happening. All right, I'm gone. Fine thing. The guy just steps out when I need him to prove a point. In addition, he sticks me with the cab. What a guy. Just two more blocks. It's two minutes to Christmas in Times Square. Hey, hey, would you, you want a cab all the time? What do you think I am? Magician? Sometimes I wonder. Now, in case you lose me in the crowd again, here's your fare. Keep the change. Five bucks. And Merry Christmas. Mr. Look, look, what, what goes on here anyway? Who are you? you you, you talk like one of us. I, I mean, real lingo, and, and yet you say you're a stranger. Oh, wherever I go, I sort of seem to be just like everybody else. See? Talking their language. It's always been that way. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I turn on the radio again? No. Go ahead. <laughs> Geez, that's funny. Now you don't know. What happened to that silent night? All night long they played that one tune. And, you know, it's a funny thing. Be before it almost drove me back. And now, all of a sudden, I got a funny feeling. I feel like, I feel like I'd give anything to hear it again. Can you beat that? No silent night. What a night this is, huh, mister? I never had such a time before. All them things that happened, I wish I could figure them out. But what's your slant on it, mister? I said, what's your slant? Hey, hey, where are you? I'll be... Jeez, he disappeared again. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? 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 CBS.